Hey guys, this is Pharaoh2091, and welcome back to Let's Play Apollo Justice Ace Attorney. As we left off, we heard a little bit from Phoenix regarding the whole uh, card game, and he's like, oh, nothing, it wasn't a big deal. I mean, that's how I, that's my main attraction, this is playing poker. Apparently he's a champion, never lost. And, well, then this lady comes here to waitress, and apparently she was there, witnessed the whole thing. And, well, let's just see what the hell she has to say on that fateful night. That night, customer asked me to deal cards for game. It was cold. Both players played with hats on. Duh! The victim, he plays whole time with his hand on locket on his neck. Then, last hand is done! But something terrible has happened. Duh! That man flew at victim and is strangling him to death! Oh, jeez. Hmm. Incidentally, who won the game? Isn't it obvious? The winner was the victim, Mr. Smith! Objection! That's ridiculous! Um, because... Because Mr. Wright can't lose! <clears throat> Justice, maybe you can come up with a more legitimate objection? But he hadn't lost in seven years! Take it from me, kid. It happens. I didn't lose a case in my first seven years as prosecutor, either. Incidentally... I have some evidence here. How the hell did he not lose a case? Well, I guess he was called a rookie killer, but then he turned out to be very pathetic when, we, when Mia and the Phoenix faced him before. These are the poker chips as they lay at the very moment of the crime. The hand and chips on this side belong to the defendant, Mr. Wright. Those on the far side belong to the victim, Mr. Smith. Chips, you say? Duh! I mean, yes! Imagine that poker is war. Your hand is your army, and the chips are the spoils. I know that. After all, in my youth, I was known as uh, the poker head of courtroom number three. I think he means poker face. Mm -hmm. uh, looking at this picture, it does seem that most of the chips are on the victim side of the table. Yeah, it does seem like that, so it seems like Phoenix is losing. Very well. The defense may cross-examine a witness. Okay, well, right off the bat, I got something I can plainly contradict. <laughs> contradict. It's her last statement. Um, where she said that the victim... Or, where, yeah, hold on a minute. The man flew at the victim and, and was strangling him. Now, wait a minute. I thought we already said that, uh... And actually, not the, not the bottle, but the autopsy report. It says that he was killed from cerebral hemorrhaging from blunt force trauma to the forehead. So he wasn't strangled to death, he was hit, you know, he, he had a blunt trauma. Objection! Oh, really? See, get it? Her last name was O'Reilly. Oh, well, I'm not sure how to, how to pronounce her name right. I don't know if it's O'Reilly or whatever, but it looks like O'Reilly. Oh, strangled, you say? That's odd. Duh! Normal customers only choke on borscht! No, I mean this report shows that the victim died of a blow to the head. Duh! Miss, or or Miss Orly, whatever you want to call you, really now? Did you witness the crime? Yeah. Oh wow, that was good for her. She says she spills it casually? No. She caught it really good. Hmm. Looking at the picture, it doesn't seem like he was hit. He's still wearing his hat and everything. Yet it is the fact that he was hit, Your Honor. Oh yeah, that, that, that shows it. That's kind of a weird hairdo. And the whole thing with the facial everything, ah, whatever. Here's a photo we took of the victim with his hat off during our investigation. Well, that's quite shocking, isn't it? This head certainly was hit. We're getting a lot of evidence for our first case, too. But I have seen it happen! The defendant, he lunged at victim, his neck! Oh, really, Miss O'Reilly? O'Reilly, whatever. I think I've caught you in your own little lie this time. Justice, I admire your enthusiasm, but perhaps you should think this through once more. But what do you mean? I found a contradiction! There's one thing in her testimony that troubles me. Very well. It seems we should con continue the cross-examination. There's such a thing as thinking too much. This horse is dead. Let's stop beating it. 
There's such a thing as thinking aloud too much, too. Wait a minute. I thought no one can hear us. Uh, okay. So... Let's see what, what else here. Hmm. She's saying that he played at the... The victim played with a locket on his neck the whole entire time. Now let's look at this new photo here. Now as you can see, there's no locket. So, that is a, uh, well, that's a contradiction right there. Objection! You know, there was one curious spot in her testimony just like Mr. Gavin said. But, what does it mean? Mr. Justice, would you care to explain what is it you're thinking so intensely about? Recall the testimony, Your Honor. The victim played with his hand on locket at his neck. At his neck, I believe she said. I hope you aren't about to raise an objection to the witness's grammar. No, but look at this photograph. Do you see a locket on the victim's neck? Well done, Justice. I'm impressed. I knew you'd be able to handle this. But what does it mean? If we are to believe the witness' testimony as is, then the locket disappeared following the victim's death. Lockets don't just disappear, Your Honor. It's quite simple when you think about it. If the locket is gone, then someone must have taken it off. No? Taken it off? Wait, you don't mean... The defendant wasn't strangling the victim at all. He was taking off his locket. Wouldn't that explain it? Duh! Duh! Phoenix, is this true? Defendant, what do you have to say to this? Say? Yes. I just noticed this, but... You have something hanging around your neck, don't you? Oh, you mean this? Yes, it's a locket. What a photograph inside. A photo... of my daughter. What the fu- What?! What?! Phoenix! When the hell did you get a girl, man? In six or seven years- Wait a minute. Who's the mom? Phoenix? Oh god, I don't know if I want to go into this even- Well then. Okay. G come again?! Mr. Wright! You have a daughter?! We confirmed it at the time of the arrest. The picture in the locket is indeed Mr. Wright's daughter. So Mr. Wright has a locket too? Why don't I buy this as just coincidence? Wait a minute! We're not making a big deal enough here! He has a daughter! Where was she the whole entire time? Oh boy! Well now, if the results of this poker game led to the murder, perhaps we should hear a bit more about the outcome of the game. Further testimony won't really be necessary. It's clear the defendant lost. Badly. Wait a minute here. Miss Orley, whatever you want to say, you will testify to the court about the victim about the game played between the victim and the defendant. D duh. Okay. Let's see here. Serious competition. The game began with 3,500 points in chips for each man. House chips come in two sizes, small and large. The one who was winning... Die! It was victim! For last hand, defendant play with all chips on table and lose. The moment loss was decided, defendant grabs bottle from table and... Ugh, okay. Indeed, looking at this picture, it does seem to be a one-sided game. As the court knows, poker wasn't was the defendant's life. Failure must have been a bitter, pl bitter pill to swallow. Ah, how many times have I heard those words? These words. I done it in a fit of anger, Your Honor, and now I regret what I done. Uh, okay, a common tale, but true. He thinks the judge watches too many old court movies. <laughs> I like that. Mr. Wright said he wasn't. He hasn't lost in seven years, so this testimony must be wrong. Perhaps it is. So I think we got a little bit more information to get out of this chick. So she said that, um, the come two sizes, small and large. Now, this is kind of important because, well, you'll see. Are the chips in this photo all the chips that were used? D Duh! Of course! 
what the hell? Something's fishy with these chips. Should I press harder? Yeah, I, I, I say so. Maybe you can explain a bit about these chips. I, explain? What is it to be explained? Poker chips are poker chips. They're not fish and chips. Not a chip off the old block. Not a motorcycle cop. Not a... Thanks. Now that I pressed her, I better ask something. What are these chips worth? Are they in dollars or rubles, even? Knights, as I have been saying before, it was game, not gambling. Hard, perhaps, for capitalists to understand? What the... Damn, okay. Two types of chips. 100 points chip and 1,000 points chip. It is not money, duh! Justice. Sir! Don't you find her comments interesting? In more ways than one, sir. And there's my phone. Let me check it real quick. And let's see. Okay, whatever. Uh, I had it added to her testimony myself. Well, does the fence want the witness to add to her testimony? But yeah, according to what Gavin said, so yeah. Yes, I do think this deserves a further scrutiny. Add it to the testimony. I wish I knew where I was going with this. Very well, witness. If you would be so kind. Duh, your honor. So, okay, so now we know that um, one kind of chip is a hundred and the other kind is a thousand. Okay. Now, there's something I want to... I want, this, that's why I want to say something important here. Um, going back to this uh, chip photo, and you're looking at it, now, we, we, they say that Phoenix is losing because, you know, he obviously has less chips than the guy, um, the, the victim. But, let's add something, let's add another variable to this. Let's add the points. So, there, she's saying there's two, kind of, two kinds of points here, 100 points and 1,000 dollar chips, or 1,000 point chips. Now, if you, let's just say that the red chips, the small ones, were actually a thousand. That would mean that Phoenix was winning, wouldn't you say? So there's kind of a different story here. At least that's what I get out of it. Objection! You're sure it was a victim who won? Absolutely sure. Objection! It seems our new attorney is a bit confused. A glance at a picture is enough to tell you who won. If you're not in kindergarten, um, just for safety's sake, could you explain the problem to the court? Of course, Your Honor. In this photo, I see small chips and I see large chips. Tell me, which were worth a thousand points? Why, the big ones, of course. Duh! Oh, I thought so too, but then the totals don't add up. The totals? That too. Remember, I said it was a 3,500, uh, limit, or like, entry thing, whatever. Let's review what the witness told us. Each minute started with 3,500 point, 3, points in chips, and the combined total value of chips was 7,000 points. Yes, if my calculations are correct. Let's see, 3 plus 1, carry to 5. Um, they are, Your Honor. Now, look at this photo that allegedly shows all the chips. As you can see, it doesn't equal out correctly. If the big chips are worth a thousand points and the small ones are worth a hundred, and you add them up, well, how much is it? Do it yourself. You aren't in kindergarten, are you? Ten thousand six hundred points. The chips don't add up. This clearly contradicts the witness's testimony. Yes, it does. But why? How could this be? Exactly. Justice. Now that you know the what, you must determine the why. Right. There's only one possibility to explain a contradiction. So you can say that the starting points are wrong, the chip count was wrong, but no, no, no. I think there's a possibility that the both were actually right. Each man began the game with 3,500 points. If all the chips are indeed shown in this photograph, then there can be only one answer. Well, what is it? The value of the chips was the other way around. What? Wanna know what I think? 
The small chips were worth a thousand points, not the big ones. Madness! Utter madness! Show me that photograph of the chips again. There are six small chips and then ten large chips. Why, that does make seven thousand points when you add them up! There you go, guys. Excellent work, Justice. It's almost as though you figured it out by yourself. I did figure it out. By myself. Well, I'm just glad I was the one who said it. But wait! The value of the chips may be different, but that changes nothing! Indeed, if the victim did have the largest number of chips still... Duh! Exactly. If the small chips are a thousand points and the large chips are a hundred, let's do a little math here. Add up the points for each side of the table. Uh, uh, the victim, Mr. Smith, had 2,900 points, and the defendant had 4,100 points. Well now, it seems that Mr. Wright was winning that night after all. Th that's impossible! My client had, had even less reason to kill the victim. After all, he was winning! Yeah! He now, Miss O'Reilly, whatever, you must have known the true value of the chips. Since you were there at the scene of the crime, weren't you? Uh, uh. She has really good uh, catching ability. It reminds me of that scene from Spider Man where, you know, Peter you know, first gains his abilities and um, uh, Mary J. Watson uh, trips and, you know, he grabs all her food and whatnot. Order! Order! It appears the defendant has lost his motive, and Mr. Wright's supposed defeat never happened. N dig it! He must now ask ourselves whether. Wait, who the hell said that? Uh, excuse me? What is a missile, really? I. I do not want to be saying this, but. Actually, you see, um. See what, Miss O'Reilly? What did we see? In the last hand, there was cheat. Cheat? A, a cheat? You, you don't mean a trick? Wait, or do you mean a scam? They're all the same thing. Yes, there was cheat in the last hand. That is why Gabe ends with chips as they were. Great. Just great. First we have lying, now cheating. Well, this case certainly has taken a turn. Pretty interesting. Witness, you will please testify. You will please testify to the court. Tell us about this cheating in the final hand. Okay. Um. Well, we'll learn more about the final hand next time, guys. So, as usual, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for Let's Play Apollo Justice: Ace Attorney. I'll see you guys later.